Hello, affiliates, and welcome to today's roller coaster ride for anybody looking to get into native ads as an affiliate marketer. I'm going to be exposing the truth on what I think native ads are for affiliates and why I've decided to invest my money elsewhere in 2024. Now, I realize this is going to be a controversial video for some people and that some people are going to be making millions of dollars and there's tons of opportunities on native ads. But for me, I'm seeing results elsewhere that I would rather focus on. But let's get into why so that you can understand before you get into investing a whole bunch of money into these types of ad formats, some of the challenges that you might face. Let me thank today's video sponsor, PDL Profit, but more on that later. And let me just give a quick disclaimer that this video is about affiliate marketing and the model of affiliate marketing. It's not to say native ads is dead for everybody, but as we get into this video, you'll see what I mean. So now let's see where this all started. And it all began two weeks ago when I did a power hour session on powerhouseaffiliate.com where I was going to do a case study on a heater on Outbrain, okay? Outbrain provides ads below the fold usually or on the sidebar of many different publishers like Fox News or CNN. You'll see the ads below these content creators or you'll see the ads below the content and typically these are recommended content. Now what I feel is that these ad placements are becoming extremely challenging for, uh, for players like us who are affiliates where we only get paid a certain CPA. We don't have control of the back end. We don't have a way to monetize that back end to, to earn you know, more than 50 bucks, say, or $100 that we're getting paid on an offer. So really, it becomes challenging because the ad costs are becoming astronomical. And we're gonna talk about why I think that's happening and some of the challenges I think are facing many affiliates when it comes to native ads. As a content creator, as somebody who is here to talk to an audience of people that are looking for ways to make money online. Truly, I don't feel good as a content creator suggesting that ad platform to people as you're starting out, especially in affiliate marketing. So here's why. Let's go to the actual campaign itself and let's talk about what actually happened here. So first of all, I told you it took me about a week to get the ad approved. This, be this is because the time zone of the ad approval team on, on Outbrain is probably 12 hours behind me. And so we're going back and forth on these little technical changes, which for one thing has changed over the years because native ads used to be the platform for affiliates to run ads where the rules were less strict, where you could get approved for running offers that you normally would be banned otherwise at Facebook or Google, but now the rules have be <laughs> become so hard to get approved that it takes a week to get approved versus going and sub submitting ads on some of these bigger platforms where you get approved within hours. So <clears throat> that is one thing that has changed. So it's actually taking longer now to get ads approved. And that means as you're testing, it's taking longer to test. So efficiency has gone down in my opinion. But once we did get approved, here's what happened. The actual offer paused on the CPA affiliate network. Now the strategy we're going to use for this and why I'm looking over here is because I have the case study in front of me, but basically we were going to run a trial offer, which is a e-commerce offer that only required the user to pay the shipping. So it made sense that this could potentially work because the payout was roughly $30 to the affiliate and the customer only had to pay $10. But we did have some data to work with to kind of look at. But of course, anybody watching this that does native ads understands that $200 is actually peanuts when you're running native ads, which is another reason why if you're looking to start native ads, you better have a solid budget. And I'm talking three to $5,000 minimum. And many of these networks are now pitching $10,000 or $10, minimums just to get through the doors on one campaign tested across the board. Okay, so this is a deep pockets game. What we did was we swapped the offer just because we we, we had the original plan to, to do the trial, but instead we went with a paper sale offer, which only paid 55 CPA, but the cost of the consumer was around $85 now. So now the whole strategy changes, but why not try anyway? Spent $200 and then pause to kind of regroup and look. Here's the thing, the, the CTR was good. We have a 0.15% ad 
CTR. So the argument that native ads gets good engagement can be argued here that yes, okay, we got some decent engagement, but really not insane because I've seen 13 to 15% engagement on Facebook and Google. Okay. So this isn't like woohoo CTR, but it's for based on what kind of ad we're talking about here, it's not bad. Zero conversions, no surprise because we're just starting out, but here's the kicker. The cost per click was $1. Now this is kind of high in my opinion, because we're talking native ads here. We're talking these crazy ads at the bottom of content that people are seeing here. We're talking a dollar a click. And I'm gonna to talk to you about why this is so high right now here in a second and why there's a lot of evidence that affiliates are not making money here uh, at, a, at a massive scale. And I'm gonna show you why. But first of all, let's just talk about this for a second. A dollar a click on native ads where before native ads used to be, you know, 25 to 40 cents a click and you could make money doing it, running a, a typical CPA offer of say $50. Now I should mention that I did in fact target the best placements on this ad platform and I left the bidding open. However, still I find the $1 per click cost is way too high. I know I could get that down below 50 cents if I chose to go on less quality publishers. But here's the thing, I'm paying for worse quality. So when you're paying for quality, you're getting up above a dollar a click, sometimes $2 a click on native ads, where on Facebook, you're getting high quality traffic for 50 cents to a dollar. Okay, that's my argument here, same on Google. But after talking to even more people in the media buying space, I come to realize that the average that some of these e-commerce people are getting for a CPA is in the 75 to $90 range CPA, which means as an affiliate, you need to be paid more than that in order to get profitable. If some of the best marketers on the planet aren't, get, aren't able to get over 70 to 90, or under 70 to $90 CPA on these e-com offers, then what makes you think as an affiliate, especially a new affiliate coming into the space that you can get below $70 for a credit card submit. Now let's compare this to Facebook on a campaign I'm running right now, where I'm getting website purchases for $17 CPA with a 51 cent cost per click in the United States. Does it make sense that I invest money in native ads if it's a dollar a click on these websites that aren't even targeted to my audience really. I mean, it's just a broad ad platform that I'm on multiple different publishers. For me to be paying a dollar a click, it just doesn't really mathematically make sense as an affiliate. So I, that's why I added this, this shot here of Facebook and just as proof that you can do this elsewhere. But of course the argument's always there that Facebook is banning accounts rampantly. They are doing all of this stuff to protect their platform, of course, but that is also being argued now on the native ads side. They're trying to protect their platforms, their rules are getting stricter, and their cost per click is going up. Now, that's not the only reason why their cost per click is going up. Let's talk about more challenges that we can see in the native ads space. But first, let's talk about PDL Profit. Today's sponsor is a financial CPA network with instant payouts and 300 offers for more than 30 geos. With them, you can pay out your profits daily instead of waiting seven or 14 days, as with other CPA networks. PDL Profit offers welcome bonuses for new affiliates over 5% of the profit in the first month and 5,000 free messages in SMS sender services. They also have a referral program, internal bonuses, and many technical solutions to increase conversion rates and earnings per click of your ads. Follow the link in the description. So let's talk about another major challenge for affiliates and anybody buying native ads these days, unless you're in search arbitrage. You might've heard of search arbitrage before, but I believe that search arbitrage is drastically increasing the cost per click, especially on the native ads platform. But let's talk about search arbitrage for a second and I'll show you what I mean. So you might've seen pages like this before. These are pages where if I click on one of these, it's going to send me to a search result and it's typically a Google search partner. So if you've taken my course on Google ads, which we describe how to make money with Google ads, I've spent over 6 million, actually nearly 7 million now on Google ads. I'll pop that video up right now on how I've been able to do that as an affiliate marketer. 
in that course, we talk about Google search partners. I've actually talked about it on this channel before as well. But basically, unsuspecting Google ads buyers who might have selected to also show their ads to Google partners may not know what search arbitrage is, but it's drastically decreasing the value of that traffic, in my opinion. Now, others would argue that search arbitrage brings value to the end user and it provides more information, but let's all be real here. Let's show you what I'm talking about when we're talking search arbitrage. Now, let's go into a tool called Adplexity. Adplexity is a tool that allows affiliates to spy on what other people are doing. If you take the filters on Adplexity, one thing I've discovered over the last few months and probably the last six months is that we're seeing less and less affiliate offers on native ads. And really when we see them, even in my live power hour session, when I go back to see if those ads were still there, they're not. So when we select a filter of just 14 days, I'm talking 14 days here, you're gonna see that all of the top results that receive the most traffic are in fact doing arbitrage. So what is it? It's basically where people are buying traffic from other platforms like uh, Outbrain, Taboola, MGID. They're buying that traffic and competing against us affiliates. But at the same time, they're monetizing their traffic by getting people to click on ads. So websites that are littered with ads. Many times this is breaking policy with Google, okay? In fact, Google's been cracking down on the industry lately and it's getting harder and harder for people to make a profit, but they're still doing it and there's still guys crushing it with search arbitrage, okay? There's a difference between search arbitrage and content arbitrage, but it's kind of the same thing. But what you're seeing are these crazy headlines. It's all clickbait. It's trying to get people to a website that has multiple different pages and they're just trying to get people to click on an ad and again, unsuspecting buyers on Google search partners might not even know it, but they're actually getting native ads traffic when they're buying search ads, which, uh, you know, is kind of unethical if you think about it. But of course, people doing this, are, there are legit ways to do it. I'm, I'm not trying to step on people's toes here again. I know I will probably get a, a rage comment here in a bit, but regardless, this method is out there and it is competing against your typical affiliate programs. So when I'm talking traditional affiliate, I'm talking you're getting a 50 to 100 CPA from a network, you're building a landing page, you're trying to buy traffic to the landing page to get a click through so that that person that clicks through to the offer, you earn a commission. That's what I'm talking about here. That, in my opinion, is dying fast in native ads and the opportunity is getting harder and harder to do that especially when you have all these different ways of earning money through native ads so i'm not saying native ads are dead for everyone what i'm arguing here is that affiliates are, are going to have to really step up their game if they want to make money on a, a traditional native ads like this so let's talk about another major hurdle for native ads and people buying native ads let's talk about the big elephant in the room here which is ad fraud. We know that ad fraud is rampant across all ad platforms, but really let's talk about how easy it is, how much easier it is to manipulate your website and become a publisher of native ad platforms versus trying to do that on places like Facebook and Google who have you know better systems of security. And now of course people can argue that, that's what the comment section is for down below. But look at this statistic here, $84 billion of ad spend lost due to ad fraud in 2023. And it's expected to be over 172 billion by 2028. And this is according to Search Engine Land and some of their information that they've produced here. And this is very concerning, of course. And we're gonna talk about this. Basically, it comes down to being able to buy residential IPs, okay? It's not, a, it's, it, if you're wondering how this is done, who's viewing your ads? Is it real humans or is it proxies? Well, 
the fact is, is residentials, residential IPs can be purchased online. And it's really hard for these ad platforms to know when people are committing fraud or just visiting a website when they're using residential IPs. Now, there's, of course, other technology out there I might not even be aware of. And there's AI now that's getting smarter. I think ad fraud is probably going to get harder, but it's still going to be there. It's always going to be something that's out there. Now, I also argue that if they were to all eliminate ad fraud, let's just pretend that native ads could eliminate ad fraud, would your cost per click go down? I don't think so. I think the quality would go up. And when quality goes up on traffic, what does it do? It costs more because people want that traffic. That is kind of where we're in a crossroads right now with native ads because we have these search herbs bringing up the, the cost per click. And because they're doing something else that's kind of, you know, weird. And then we have also bot clicks and we have all this stuff to con concern ourselves with where when we go to other traditional platforms or other top tier platforms like Google, which is all first party where they own the traffic, they have control of YouTube, they have control of Google display or no, they have, they have control of Google search. They, it's a lot harder to manipulate that system as a fraudulent artist here. This isn't targeting one specific company. It's just targeting the model itself. I'm just saying this is possible. And this is another thing we need to consider when we're buying ads, especially native ads. So where do we go from here? Surely I'm not quitting native ads based on one $200 ad campaign for an affiliate offer that failed. No, this is based on years of research, years of spending millions of dollars on places like Facebook, Google, TikTok, YouTube, all of these other platforms that have their own traffic. They own it first party and they are in control of their traffic. And I find the quality and the cost per click is very similar now than what you're paying for native ads. So I, this isn't to ostracize any specific native ads platform out there. I just think as a professional media buyer and as a YouTube creator, it is my duty to go and share where opportunities truly lie. And for me, I'm going to be investing my money on platforms that are making me money. I've spent over $6 million, like I said, on Google ads, and it continues to spend every single day. Facebook ads are doing extremely well with low cost per click. Why bother wasting time and energy right now at this point in time when we're at a crossroads with native ads where there's so many contributing factors that will cost me money why bother let me ask you can you provide your comments below tell me what you think about the industry how you're having success or what your thoughts are and where I might be wrong in my argument. I would love to see your comments down below. If this type of video is inspiring to you or you like these types of videos, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon for notifications, and let's open up the discussion further. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.